done to you. I have come to find you in your house today, Jesus. Therefore, I'm holding on to you, riding on in the storm because you are there. Thank you this morning. Lift up your hand. Express your feeling. Express your gratitude. Express your loving. He is a good God. He is loving kindness to us. Give him praise. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Psalm 46, look at from verse 3, Psalm number 46. Praise the name of Jesus. Psalm 46, beginning from verse 3. Though the water thereof roar and be troubled, is your marital life being troubled this morning? Though the mountain shake with swelling thereof, verse 4, there is a river. Say, there is a river. The stream whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. Look at verse 5. God is in the midst of her, holding on to Jesus. She shall not be moved. Say, I shall not be moved. God shall help her. Say, God is my helper. God shall help her and that right early. Lord, Speak the word over my marital life this morning. Over my marital future. Over my marital destiny. He said the solitary in the family. Lord, speak your word to my marital life. My marital destiny. Lord, reach out to me through your word this morning. Lift up your hand. Lift up your voice. Zerie keto prote kentelia. Magas katabla de le prodikata bradu zozo prete kentolia. Reach out to me this morning, Jesus. Ma kato bredigaza. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Every siege against your marital destiny is come crumbling this morning. Every siege in your front, at your back, at your left, at your right hand, every siege encompassing you today, the power of God will crumble there in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever you have been mocked, whatever you have been healed down, whatever is cutting your glory, today, God of this commission will trouble them. There shall be peace over your marital life. Amen. There shall be peace over your marital destiny. Amen. After this service, your marital life is breaking forth. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. give Jesus a big hand as you take your seat. Help me welcome your neighbor from left to the right. Remember the property focus for the man. God's plan is in his book. God's plan is in his book. And this morning, our teaching series, accessing God's plan for your life from his book. Jesus said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He says, come. I'd like you to know you have come to the king of kings this morning. Whatever is troubling your home, Troubling your marital life, God Himself will trouble them. I say, God will trouble them in the name of Jesus Christ. The word is the divine mirror that reveals our true picture in Christ. The word of God is the divine mirror that reveals our true picture in Christ. The word is light. Listen to me. When there is no light, confusion set in. Light, knowledge of his word. Jesus said in John chapter 11 verse 10, but if a man walk in the night, he stumble because there is no light in him. When you have no knowledge of his word in any area of your life or in a particular area, 
any area there is no life, for instance, in your marital life, there is no understanding, no life. Did Jesus say that person stumbling? There will be crisis, commotion of misunderstanding. Love we go down. Hatred may set in. Why? He that walketh in the night in the darkness stumbled. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Oh, see our forces. Then in Proverbs 29, verse 18, he said, Where there is no vision, the people perish. As long as life remains in darkness, as long as life remains without light, there will be misery. It is darkness that gives birth to misery. But today, in God's presence, every misery you are going through will be terminated. Yeah. Misery of lack of job, misery of no peace at home, misery of not even knowing what to do, they will be terminated in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. The Bible is the creator's manual that shows us who we are. God's word. The book, the Bible shows us who we are, what we are worth, and what we can do. Listen, Isaiah 29, verse 11 to 12. The vision of all is become unto you as the words of a book that is sealed. Which men deliver to one that is linen, saying, Read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, it is sealed, it is not open. They are hidden. The things of God, the things of the Spirit are hidden. He said, but unto you it is given to know. So you are given to know. The book is given to you to discover. It is what you, what you see that show you, to, to, that, that, that showcase you to, to, to your life, I mean to your world. The Bible is the manuals, his greatest manual, God's manual, that shows us who we are, what we are worth, and what we can do. Matthew chapter 3, verse 13 to 15. Ye are the light. Ye are the salt. Matthew 3, 13 to 15. He said, a city that is set upon a hill cannot be hidden. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13 to 15. Matthew 5. A city that is set upon a hill cannot be hidden. Look at verse 14 and 15. You are the light of the world. You see, you are the light. This is what the Bible says you are. You are what the Bible says. says a city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Whatever is covering your glory comes down this morning. Whatever darkness is over your destiny is cast out this morning. Whatever is hiding you, there are darkness that hides your beauty, hides your glory, hides your character from your sweet talk. Anything covered cannot be seen. Whatever is hiding anyone's glory this morning, Hiding you from your sweetheart. Hiding your children's glory. Mismanaging their life. Ah, in the name of Jesus, they come down under God's daja. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. You, the Bible says, it is the God's manner book that shows you what you are worth. You are the sword. Without you, the earth, this entire world will lack taste. You are the salt. That is who you are. You have to see it that way. And Jesus speaking in John 17 verse 18. He said, as thou hast sent me to the world, so sent I this one. Can you see that? As thou hast sent me, so sent then, so send I this one. Glory to God. In John chapter 10, I mean Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 19. Luke 10. 17 to 19. 
He said, Behold, I give unto you power. Now, first of all, he said, The 70 return again with joy. That means they'll be returning with joy. Look at again. So this year, every month, you'll be returning with joy. Yeah. Again and again, you'll be returning with joy. He said, they say, even, even, Lord, even the devil are subject unto us through thy name. Did you see that? And he said unto them, I be here Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpent, scorpion, and over the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. Whatever is hurting your family, hurting your marital life, the siege of the enemy like a flaw this morning by the standard of the Holy Ghost they are overturned they are overturned every seed the enemy is planning even 20 years time against you is overturned now in the name of Jesus Christ listen the word is God's prophetic agenda for the redeemed the word of God is God's prophetic agenda for the redeemed. So what you do, you seek the prophetic solution to that area of challenge, to your marital life. Isaiah 34 verse 16, he said, seek ye out of the book of the law and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want a mate. For my mouth it has commanded. By a spirit it has gathered them. The spirit of God is behind his word. When you locate that word, you have located the spirit. Because the spirit of God carries the power of God. The spirit of God carries the life of God. He said, by my spirit, it has gathered them. So, you seek the prophetic agenda for your life. God's word is that prophetic agenda for the redeemed. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 24. The Lord of hosts has sworn saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass. And as I purpose, so shall it stand. So every throne of the devil is cast down in your life. Yeah. Whatever is sitting on your marital breakthrough that makes life difficult, that makes life inaccessible, that makes life a struggle for you. Every throne of Satan is today cast down in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But if I may say, how from the, from the Bible we discover God's vision for man? Listen. We discover God's plan and purpose for you and I. Jeremiah 29, verse 11 and 13. We also discover God's plan and purpose for you, for man. He said, the thought I have for you, they are good thought. I know the thought. God is the one speaking, not me. I know the thought that I think towards you. I said so little in family. Psalm 68, verse 8. I know the thought that I think towards you, that thought of peace, that thought of what? And not of evil to give you an expected end. Did you see that? God said, This is my thought. I said so little in family. No matter your state, no matter what has been said against you, no matter the enchantment of men against your children. Listen, no matter what they have planted in you, God's word stands above them. God's word is superior. Because the word of God carried the power of God. Now listen to me this morning. God's power is superior. So whatever has been said and chanted against you by the word this morning, I neutralize them. Yeah. Your children are set free. Yeah. Your destiny is set free. Yeah. From every marital perversion, your destiny is set free. Yeah. Your business is free today. Amen. From not knowing what to do from today, I decree the knowledge of what to do is imparted to you. Amen. You will never take a wrong step again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. Now, 
how do we how does the plan of God is revealed to you how does the plan of God is unveil unveiling the plan of God for our life how is it unveiled praise the name of Jesus Christ you must have the understanding that you are redeemed to walk in dominion that's his plan and way you are redeemed to walk in dominion Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 to 6 quickly you are redeemed to walk in dominion even when we were dead in sin as he quickened us together with Christ by grace he has saved glory to God I said glory to God. Now, Proverbs 27 verse 19, the Bible says, as in water, face answered to face. So the heart of man to man. Is that in your Bible? I say, is that in your Bible? I'm, I'm just adding, I'd like you to follow me carefully. Galatians 3 29. First of all, let, let, let's look at Ephesians chapter 1, verse 20 to 21. He said, we are far above principality. Now, look at Ephesians 1, 20 to 21. I'm gathering momentum for who we are. You are redeemed to walk in dominion. He said, which he wrote in Christ, when he raised Jesus Christ from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. That's where you are. Far above all principality. Far above all what? Remember the Bible says all principality, all power, all might, all dominion. Every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. That is his plan for you. You are not meant for low places. You are not meant for crisis. Are you hearing me? You are not meant for business loss. No. You are not meant to be trampled under. You are not meant for shame. You are not meant for insult. You are not meant to be jobless. You can be for a while, but you are not meant to be jobless for long. The earth is the law and the fullness thereof. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The earth is the law. So, the plan of God for you is to have dominion. And listen to me. The end time church is a church that reigns. is a church of dominion. Listen carefully. When we talk about church, we are not talking of physical building, this four corner. We are talking about the people. We are talking about you and me. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. We are in the day of the dominion of the church. Remember yesterday, the apostle about this commission make reference to Psalm 87. Psalm 87, verse 1 to 7. We are in the day of dominion of the church. The church will reign. Whether the devil likes it or not, you are going to reign. He said, as well as the singer, beginning from verse 1, his foundation is in the holy mountains. Verse 2, quickly. The Lord loved the gate of Zion. Zion is the, I mean, is the house of God. More than all the dwelling of Jacob. More than our houses. Glorious things are spoken of thee. Today, they, from today, they'll begin to speak well of you. He said, Oh, city of God, verse 4, I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistia and Tyre with Ethiopia, this man was born there. They will make reference to you. Yeah. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count when he righted up the people. That is, this man was born there. Verse 7 now. As well as the singers, as the players on instrument shall be there. All my springs are in thee. That God is one speaking. All my spring, all my delight. God takes delight in you. God is happy in your life. God wants to make right what is wrong in your life. God wants to expose the forces of darkness behind your wall. Glory to Jesus. So, we are in the day of dominion. The church will reign. Ah, look at Zechariah chapter 8, verse 20 to 23, when you get home. Many people 
will come and hold on to your skirt. Many people will grow bigger than nations. That is, some of you later in life, the money, the financial breakthrough you have will be able to sponsor, I mean, to sponsor the budget of a nation. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. Look, there is nothing that devil can do, sir. Billions of Boko Haram cannot stop church. No, they can't stop you. No, no. They are only hastening you to your destiny. They think they are persecuting you. No, in persecution, the church grow. It is in persecution we move stronger. Glory to Jesus. So listen to me. Whatever has perverted your life, there shall be an overturn this morning. Every perversion of your life, there shall be an overturn. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, what are the way to your marital breakthrough? Number one, just engage in the kingdom advancement prayer. Engaging in kingdom advancement prayer. Praying for the kingdom is seeking what pleases God. When you seek what pleases the master, he seek what pleases you. God is not unrighteous. No, he is not unrighteous that you forget your labor of prayer for his kingdom. God is not unrighteous to forget your labor on your knee for his kingdom. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Every other thing, including your marital settlement, including certain the crisis ravaging your business, all these things, including your miracle job, sir. All these things, including your case of barrenness, you will turn it to fruitfulness. All these things, including your dryness, it will turn it to watered garden. All these things, including reproach and shame, it will bring glory, double portion of glory. Glory to God. Engaging in kingdom advancement prayer. There's room for it. You can pray on your home at home. Lord, everybody you are bringing to this church, establish them. Let Jesus Christ be formed in their heart. When they carry their Bible, open their eyes to see the mystery in the book. Open their eyes to see their guidance. Open their eyes to know the Holy Ghost as their comforter. Lord, open their eyes. To see divine direction. Open their eyes to find solution in your word. Lord, deliver miracle to their life. Let signs and wonder follow them. What you make happen for others, God make happen for you. This is your way to your marriage. Number one key to your marital breakthrough. Number one key. Number two, what do you do? Engage in soul winning. Proverbs eleven thirty, he that winneth soul is wise. Every form of foolishness will depart from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth soul is wise. Daniel twelve chapter uh, Daniel chapter twelve verse three, they that turn many to righteousness, he said, and they that be wise shall shine as what. As the brightness of the firmament, no darkness can hide. Nobody can cheat them. No disappointment. No, no lukewarmness. No failure. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. That is unstoppable progress. They can, the enemy can do nothing. Oh, I saw something in the Bible. The Pharisees, they rule on themselves. John chapter 12, verse 19. They say, Perceive ye how ye prevail nothing. Behold, the whole world is gone after him. The more they persecute Jesus, the more the crowd follow Jesus and they call themselves together and say, We have lost the battle. Perceive ye, can't you know how ye prevail nothing? Ha <laughs> ha. Today, your enemy will run her task for nothing. They are looking for you in the valley. They will suddenly see you at the top. Yeah. They will be looking for you where they used to see you. Finally, they will see you in the front. Yeah. 
all the arrow of affliction and confusion they throw to your marital life, suddenly they will see return upon their own head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spell through the dream, every spell through the dream of now, vision of now of the enemy, suddenly they will see it happening in their own life. Yeah. Why he prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy? He anointed your head and your cup ran over. Your news of breakthrough will paralyze them very soon. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. They are thinking you come to them and beg and borrow money for, for your children's school fees. But suddenly, they will see your children fly in color. Yeah. They have thought you will live in one room and die there squatting. But suddenly, you will invite them to come and pray for your land that you have bought. Yeah. Suddenly, you will invite them to come and dedicate your building. Yeah. If you believe God will do it, let me hear your loudest. Amen. Yeah. Oh, they are thinking you will die in death, but suddenly you'll be writing check for them to help them in the name of Jesus Christ. Say with me, there is an overturn in my way this morning. There is a turn around for me. Lead it to my transformation. No more marital woe. No more marital failure. Shout hallelujah. I say shout hallelujah. Let me add one more key in this service and then we'll rise up to pray. How many expect supernatural breakthrough in their, in, in, their, in their life? Glory to God. Let me advise you, stay in love with his house. With what? Stay in love with his house. <laughs> he said, but ye are come to Mount Zion, the city of living God, the heavenly Jerusalem. Hebrews chapter 12, Verse 24, verse 22 to 24. You are welcome. The, God's house is the city of living God. He said, ye are come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem and to the innumerable company of angels. They are here with us. To the general assembly, sir. <laughs> and the church of firstborn. You will never be in the back again. Which are written in level. God sees you every day in the palm of his hand. And to the God, the judge of all, who will avenge for you. And to the spirit of just man made perfect. So whatever is decaying in your life, expect perfection in the name of Jesus. You see, and to Jesus the mediator. Look at verse 23 before we go there. Verse 23. Quickly. To the general assembly and the church of firstborn. Please follow me. Which are written in heaven. You are on the topmost door. Don't come to the ground. You are in heavenly places. To the God, the judge of all. To the spirit of just man. They are made perfect. They are with us. Verse 24 now. And to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. Did you see that? And to the blood of sprinkling. As you see that now, blood of sprinkling is going on spiritually. The speaker better things. Speaker what? Better things. Speaker what? Better things. Speaking your promotion. Amen. Speaking your lifting. Speaking your long life. Amen. Speaking your marital bliss. Amen. Speaking your marital breakthrough. Amen. Over the life of your children. Amen. Destroying the hand of the enemy. Amen. He said the blood of Jesus speaks better things. So better life for you this year. <laughs> better financial breakthrough for you this year. Amen. Than the blood of Abel. Shout hallelujah. Every case of burning, and listen, this is the last time you ever have cause to pray for burning. I said, This is the last time you ever pray to conceive. This man, everyone called burning, supernatural conception in the name of Jesus. Will you pray? I said, Will you pray? Take those key. Praying kingdom advancement prayer. Very important. Loving his house. Because the more you appear before the Lord, the stronger you become. The more you appear before the Lord, the more you prevail in the battle of life. Ah, Lord, today, over every case challenging me, cause me to prevail. I want to prevail over every issue of my life. Maybe your own is marital breakthrough. Maybe your own is miracle job. Lord, whatever is keeping me under, make me prevail this morning. Rise to your feet and begin to pray that prayer. 
in the name of Jesus. Lord, I want to prevail. Lord, make me to prevail. This week is a week of your testimony. Every prayer you have said to the Lord from your heart, expect testimony from it. It shall be your week of testimony. Your week of divine visitation. And your week of marital settlement. In the name of Jesus Christ, be blessed as you go. In Jesus' wonderful name. Join your hands together. Well, maybe I didn't announce to